Hey there, everybody. This is Artie from Phone Clock, and uh, thank you. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being here, and uh, get ready, because you are about to witness the birth of greatness, the, uh, the start of something new, the start of something legendary, the start of something that is, uh, I would say, never been equaled, never been seen before. The goal of this series, going forward, is to see if I, a humble child, a boy with no basketball experience, with no real basketball knowledge, can reach the same heights as the greats of the sports, to be on the same level as your Michael Jordans, your LeBron Jameses, your Dennis Rodmans. Or at the very least, can I just ooh, reach out and touch their sneakers? That's the goal, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun getting there. First things first, got to start with the obvious. i got to create my body, which I'm grateful for because I'll be honest with everyone out there. My current body is pretty bad, and this is my chance to actually have a good one. There is no way this is going to work. There is absolutely no way that they are going to put my face onto an NBA player. We're going to try it. We're going to see. You just got to download the app and take a couple of photos and then pop it into the game as they assemble the polygons that make up my, uh, I would say, distinctive visage. I'm, I'm actually, you know what, I, I sort of pretty, pretty down on it. I'm pretty excited to see what this game thinks I look like. I'm not going to lie, the anticipation has been building, and I'm, uh, I'm nervous. This could be like looking into a mirror, uh, a terrifying, uncanny mirror. This is 20, 2K23, after all. This is the height of technology. This is like what NASA is using. And that is, that's pretty close. Arguably, that's what I wish I looked like. Um, now, yeah, let's, we're going to have the, let's throw the photo up there. Uh, you can see, not the same. Uh, it does make me feel like I'm doing digital blackface, which is not a great feeling for me. Not a great look. Uh, wow. Pretty rough. Let's just go back to generic white guy and make it work. Well, that was a bit of a letdown. Uh, it's fine, though. You know what? Let's just zoom through the rest of this character creation process. I'm just a normal-looking white guy. Nothing funny about that. Nothing funny at all. And just like that, it is like looking in a mirror. One-to-one, -one, that's what I look like. It's perfect. The one thing that I know about basketball is that it's all about the hoops. It's all about the buckets, and it's all about the points. I gotta have these hot hands if I'm gonna play this game. You know, I can't, I can't be a defensive player. I can't be, you know, uh, a side man or whatever they call it. I gotta be, I gotta be in there mixing it up. Obviously, no questions asked. We all know what number I'm gonna pick, and that is 69. You know, I think it's uh, super nice that they would give me the option to be about 6'9". Um, it's not true, though, folks. I'm only about 6'3", which the game does not allow me to be. Uh, no short kings are allowed in the NBA is what I'm learning today. And I got to say, a little disappointed. As much as I like to think that I'm built or solid or sturdy, I, I know I'm just compact. Just a small, compact man. Wow. Um, okay, I'm going to be honest, everybody. I was not expecting a character customization engine on the level of Dungeons & Dragons when I started this video, but here we are. Let's just, we'll take it section by section, make sure that uh, we build the ultimate sport boy. We build me into the ultimate sport boy. Obviously, I'm going to have filthy, nasty dunks. Gotta have them. Everyone loves that. Everyone loves his big Hollywood Hulk Hogan dunks. Shooting. Yes, number one. Everyone. Max it all out. Hottest hands in the league. 
Kid Dynamite is what they might call me because I ex explode the ball from my hands. I don't know what any of this shit means. All I know is that I've got sick, fat dunks, and I'm fast, I know that. You can't catch me. And maybe I'm too fast. Maybe I intimidate my teammates too much. I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, absolutely no defense. I don't want any of that. All offense. All big scores, big numbers. That's it. This seems to be it. I think this is all right. Uh, no strength, which is uh, unfortunately a little too real for me. Uh, massive vertical leap, though. I'm going to be just like Mike. In fact, that gives me a good idea. I'm going to tweak these stats just a little bit. Just a m bit. I don't need any defense. And you know what? I don't know what a layup is. I probably do not need it. And I'll take away some of my sick, nasty dunks. I can still do them. They won't be as nasty, though. Because it's going all into that vertical leap. I'm going to be like a little frog out there on the court. They won't know. What hit him? Oh, and you know that I always drink my Gatorade before I hit that court. Never get tired. Never surrender. I'm going to be an unstoppable athlete. This is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what a primary takeover or a secondary takeover is. I'm sure it's not important. Uh, because did you see how good my stats were? I'm just going to pick whatever makes me the best shooter in NBA history, and we're just going to go with that. And just like that, I've done it. I've been transformed into the game. I've trond myself. What I really want and what I'm really, really hoping for is that Virtual Shaq tells me how proud he is of me and how good I am. And now for I, what I assume to be, oh, I could just pick my team. That's nice. Usually they, you know, you don't get a choice, but I'm glad they gave me one. Now, obviously, there are a lot of good teams, all of them stellar in their own ways, I'm sure. But there's only one real option, and that's to be the Wizards. Because I am going to be a magic out on that court. And with that, I am finally done. I finally created myself within this digital space, and I'm ready to get out there. Play some ball on that slippery court. You know, I'm actually excited to see what the world at large thinks of uh, me, the newest, hottest NBA player on the scene. I'm sure it's going to be nothing but respect, nothing but love, and, you know, maybe some casual ideation. Maybe some fans will uh, be in the works. Uh, I'm excited. With the 18th pick in the NBA draft, the Washington Wizards select MP. That was um, that was a little weird. It wasn't what I was expecting, but maybe it was just the crowd in the auditorium. They were tired. They were hungry. They weren't ready uh, to accept me. I'm sure the reception elsewhere has been just awful. Impedes a terrible pick. I want the entire world fire. Uh, well, you know, okay, that was a little. A little harsher than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was expecting to be like, oh, Rookie of the Year, look out, this guy's coming in hot, not to be enemy number one, but it's it's fine, you know? No, you know what? This is good. This is good. I've come around on it. It's an underdog story, which is sort of like how it is in real life. You know, I am starting from the bottom. Public enemy number one, and I just got to make all of these people love me. Just being How honest, like, could that what be? a bold yet harsh way to start off this game. Like, everyone doesn't like you as a person. It's not your abilities. It's not the fact that I can't play basketball uh, at all. It's just like they don't like me as a person. Look how bummed out I am. I haven't picked up a basketball yet. I haven't laced up my sneakers yet. And I'm, 
I'm down in the dumps. I don't know how I'm going to recover from this. Oh, look at this. It's a bold move by the game developers to not only give me a girlfriend, but also just a friend in general. Wow, they're really making some positive choices for me. I really hope uh, nothing bad happens to this relationship, so I'm now going to value extremely, extremely highly. These two people are going to be my rock as I go through this, um, frankly, terrifying ordeal of becoming an NBA superstar. You know, I wonder how deep will this story go? Like, how much control will I have over my own personal actions in there? Can I let fame corrupt me? Can I rise to the top and then forget everybody that rose alongside me? Just become a tyrant in my own land, alienating former friends and loved ones until I'm a hollow shell of a man alone at the top? Because I would do it. That, that sounds like, uh, you know, a lot of fun. I'm also curious if the game will just sort of end if I do as terribly as I'm expecting to do. Like, if I can't even beat the first match, how is the game going to, like, sort of portray the narrative that I'm this up-and-coming superstar, which I assume is what they're trying to do. You know, real rags-to-riches underdog-style tale. Uh, but I can't stress enough, I don't know how to play basketball at all. All right, you know what? I think this is the best place to stop for right now. Let me get my bearings. Let me get ready to embark on this basketball quest where uh, instead of, you know, defeating an evil corporation, I'm going to become the king of basketball. And I think it's going to be a fun journey uh, considering that I do not know how to play basketball. I don't know the rules. And uh, I don't really plan on learning them. I'm going to see how far can I go on my sheer talent and charisma alone uh hopefully far enough to get a pair of sneakers named after me so thank you for tuning in and i will see you all next time